Hi everyone, welcome back to the workshop and this is just a quick follow-up video to my last video the repair of my Matrix LCR meter uh, where the result of it was the crystal was faulty and replacing it resolved both the issues of the unit crashing randomly and very very curiously plugging in a USB stick into the front of it crashed the unit as well and it seemed like a very unusual fault i.e. the crystal would show up as an issue on the USB socket on the front of the unit. So anyway, I've uh, got the crystal here, I've extended the legs of it just so that I can plug it into the breadboard here and as you can see I've got a little oscillator circuit set up so that I can uh, test out the faulty crystal and a couple of uh, working ones. So this is the circuit over here, very very familiar oscillator circuit consisting of a 7404 and a buffer here and a couple of capacitors and a couple of resistors and away we go. Now I'd prefer to use a Schmidt trigger for the inverter here, however I don't have a 40106 but what I do have is a 74 VHC U04. Now you might not have heard of that particular uh, variant of the 74 series and that's because it's a very high frequency uh, inverter IC. It's good for up to 250 megahertz believe it or not but it's not a Schmidt trigger inverter. So let me reposition the camera so that we can take a look at the scope and I'll try out a couple of different crystals. Okay and here we have it powered up. I've got a brand new 12 megahertz crystal plugged in at the moment and I'm monitoring pin 4 here and as you can see I'm getting a fairly nice waveform there right across the full 5 volt range. It's a 5 volt power supply that I've got on the IC. No problem whatsoever. And if I scope pin 2 of the hex inverter, you can see I've got a kind of a sinusoidal waveform there as well. The crystal is oscillating very nicely. So now let me put power off and plug in the faulty crystal. And put power on. As you can see, I'm still monitoring pin 4 there, so it should be well buffered. As you can see, the voltage range there is very, very small. And if I scope pin 2, you can see I'm getting a very, very small voltage range there of the oscillation, and that is the faulty crystal. And just as another test, I do actually have a different value of crystal here. I've got a 10 megahertz one, so let's just try that. Different brand. And as you can see, it's working perfectly as well. Back to the faulty one again. And indeed, the crystal is faulty. It's, for some reason, it's very, very weak. So again, how that shows up as a USB flash drive insertion problem, it's quite hard to get your head around I think. I think the only possibility it could be is the crystal is oscillating very very weakly and the microprocessor was just running and no more but any change to the circumstances of what possibly what the code's doing or the ground on the uh, circuit board by plugging in an external device somehow upsets the microcontroller and it just grinds to a halt or goes into some weird mode because as I also showed in the last video the data lines to the flash drive were actually still working when the display was frozen so really I, all I can say is I think the microcontroller went into a weird state all due to a weak crystal thanks for watching